Hey, welcome back. This is going to be Exchanging Money Overseas Part 2. Last week I put up how to exchange money overseas, the places I've been to, and some people ask me questions about countries I've never been to, so I'm going to address those countries that uh, other people ask me about. So let's just get into it. So Greece, Greece is one of the countries which is part of the EU, so any part, country of the EU that you can use uh, the ATM so it's probably best just to go to the ATM when you get there if anything just change maybe a hundred dollars at the airport just for the cab fare or whatever you need to do in order to be able to get to an ATM unless there's an ATM in the airport then use the ATM in the airport you'll only be charged like a three percent plus whatever the bank fees are but it'll be far far less than you'll have to pay if you uh, just go to the exchange when they charge you like a 10% commission, a 3% exchange rate, and a uh, ex uh, a fee to exchange the money. So you might lose like 20%. Cuba, Cuba has two types of currency, the CUC and the CUP. Uh, this is the uh, Cuban peso, and uh, I can't remember what the CUC is. But the CUC is 1 to 1, and the CUP is 4 to 1. And basically, uh, if you change money in Cuba at the money changers and everything, you're going to be charged a 10% if you use U.S. dollars. And then there's a 3% uh, exchange rate fee. So you're going to lose 13% right away if you exchange U.S. dollars. And the CUP will be used as change. So no, it's 4 to 1. So you count your change when you leave the, if you use uh, the CUC or American dollars in Cuba because you will not get you may not get the exact exact change uh, Costa Rica uh, Costa Rica you can actually use smaller bills if you want uh, US bills you, you can just use them at the stores and everything so they're widely used but uh, if you want uh, go ahead and use them uh, exchange your money at the banks and everything Brazil Brazil uh, the hotels travel agents and banks the banks offer the best exchange rates. You go to the ATM if you need to. And uh, some of the Caribbean countries use the uh, some of the Caribbean countries use the East Caribbean dollar, which is two dollars and seventy cents. Uh, the East Caribbean dollar to the U.S. dollar, so one dollar each equals two seventy, and that's always been the rate for the last. Uh, 42 years so it has not changed much so uh, but then there's other countries that only use the US dollars so you don't need to exchange money if you go to Ecuador East Timor uh, El Salvador the Marshall Islands Micronesia Palau Turks and Caicos British Virgin Islands and Zimbabwe you do not need to change the US dollars uh, Micronesia and Palau are under what we would call a uh, treaty with the US so many of the Micronesian islands in that area are under the US treaty after World War II so they're pretty much a lot of them are considered US citizens and a lot of the island countries there actually have US social security numbers and can travel to the United States with no problems and uh, you can also spend US dollars in Panama North Korea, Belize, Cambodia, Costa Rica, and Brazil. North Korea, that's that's really surprising. Uh, the smaller bills in, in uh, Costa Rica. In Cambodia, you can use U.S. dollars, but they're very, very picky on bills that are torn or worn out. So they basically want new ones. And they will take decline and not use a dollar bill that has just a small little, little tiny little tear like that much right in the corner and they'll say they don't want it but then I have no problem giving you a a real bill the Cambodian currency that looked like it's been run over on the street for like three weeks and cars driving over and dragged in a mud puddle and they'll be oh no, no that's that's Cambodian currency it's okay uh, no so anyway so you can use that that's the Koreans I mean uh, that's how you can use your money overseas in uh, these other countries if there's any other countries, let me know and I'll do part three for you. Thank you all. Love you all. Bye-bye.